That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out That clock keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out And taste makers, make us no chaser Get the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors Mad men, uh, old ten times vapors Cut the jukebox on, make the woofers blow uh, We gon' sit here until all them heifers go uh, Holler at the tens and spend a little dough Not on them, no, they can buy their own drinks Make that work week all five days in the bucket Fuck it, you got a boss who's a jerk Who does slow on Wu-Tang Bring the motherfucking ruckus There was no with text, we are living and we love it I gave him like some time. Started late. Big loser. We should do. It. I don't know. Send Matt a a, a violent threat uh, <laughs> next show or something like that. Another day, another nail in Max's coffin. Yeah, this one's interesting. But I will say, um, if you guys follow this Mama Max situation, uh, what what I did? I gotta stop playing with this shit. Mm. Um, ooh, I got a I got a new scarf for Low Cal Podcast for Low Cal Live, which should be filming tomorrow. Hey, listen, uh, before we get into that, um, I don't know what you guys. I haven't even checked the damn thing. We had uh, mad problems recorded with Harley. I, I'm sure we'll try to do it again one day. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, uh, but things got screwed up, and Connor certainly didn't have enough time. There's another problem we're having, um, and this has to do with nobody's fault at all. Is uh, Kelly. Um, Wings Redemption's wife was um, apparently in the ICU for, for for a minute. She seems to be recovering now. So I don't know when he's going to get out. He's going he's gonna to try to do tomorrow, but if he doesn't, oh, oh well. Um, his wife's health is much more important. Um, I think it's just them. You know, it's kind of like me and my wife. It's me and her. Um, and, uh, you know, her parents are pretty old. Um so hard. I don't know what happened, but she was in the ICU. I, I don't know at liberty to say, but uh, he's trying. Uh, I'm sure he is, but we'll, we'll try to get something out that, that Connor can work on so we can get you out this Sunday and God hopefully won't have a problem. I actually have to set uh, Wings' OBS settings, which probably shouldn't be my job considering that I screwed up the thing last week. But um, yeah, well, look, just to let you know, we're behind the scenes working on it. We're having a bit of a problem right now and... You know, all the best. But, you know, Kelly comes first, obviously. So, but we'll, we'll try to get something out. and We'll get it in Connor's hands and uh, start that train uh, working again. Uh, can you release what he meant behind the scenes drama? I don't know. Did he say that? That's the drama. We, we didn't get it together. Got all fucked up. That's it. <laughs> I mentioned it here. The last episode got fucked up. They get fucked up sometimes. Do you want me to? Yes. Come on in. Might as well do one with Diorio, right? How about this? Nick is not a loser. Hey. Oh, hello hey, hey, there. Hey. I don't know what happened to him. Nick is not a loser. How about that? Yeah, why not? <laughs> old time sake. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, I, you know, you're actually kind of perfect because you probably understand it a little more than I do. Uh, but it's funny. But we're going to do a new show. I was going to run through a couple of... Uh, drama um, articles besides that. So we'll probably run through this, get to the other thing, and maybe you can help me out on, like, uh, like the, if I understand this correctly, as far as the um, the lawsuit fake, which is a big surprise. See, I don't even watch Mama Max. Dude, kind of honestly, yeah. I'm going to be, on, I'm gonna be to totally sure. honest on this. Sure. I have no fucking idea okay, buddy. anything. I, I've only researched for 10 hours, and that feels like, Preliminary research for a subject. Is he, like is he, this. Is he maybe, it's such a huge rabbit hole. I know. It's just like, it's just so full of bullshit and lies. And that's the sniff I got from it in the beginning. It's just, it's overwhelming. <laughs> you know? It's yeah, absolutely. 100%. And again, even if this was above board, it would have been like a, a, a tall task to even engage with. Like yeah, a, it would. A yeah. Potential pedo cult drama. Um, but I think that, that insulated every aspect him. Of it was am bad, I crazy? Making it worse. Uh, am mm -hmm. I crazy? I think that insulated him a bit. 
um, the fact that it's just it's so out, it's so nuts. Well, yeah, people didn't go, oh, red flag, this looks ridiculous. They went, yeah. oh, that's like a lot of reading. So, uh, <laughs> H-bomber yeah. guy's right. <laughs> well, that's you, – you see, uh, looking back on it now, I mean, I spoke to Mudahar and I yeah. asked him about uh, Max's previous research and, and, and stuff like that because uh, Mudahar has been one of the guys saying that Max does good stuff, does good work. He'll jump into and defend him like in the last couple of years when stuff like that comes up. Yeah. And it occurred to me, it occurred to Chud that – for the most part, all the people who are making character, um, you know, character uh, promotional like statements for Max probably haven't watched a single pedo investigation he's ever made. Sure. They probably never even looked. Did you hear the caller that called him yesterday and said that he was a part of Max when he was doing, you know, the I'm a loser videos and stuff like that? No, that no, I did he not. Called, he was a really interesting call because as it started getting a weirder he dumped max a long time ago but he was initially mm -hmm. interested in the videos that he made about his basically his mental illness and stuff like that but it was kind of funny so what that attracted is these people that said they were victims of this that and the other thing i won't get into all that stuff but he said the discords started becoming weirder and weirder and weirder and the way he made it sound is max kind of leaned in to the the audience that he cultivated almost by accident like he was making those videos to be kind of weird and and quirky and then they got a little more serious and as they got more serious he just attracted all these broken people that's that's what i took from what this guy was saying and then it was well, like you know i was kind of shocked when mudahar flat out told me because i again i i wasn't there myself but he went you know i definitely think that max is in this for fame i think fame is something that drives him as a content creator. well you can, you can go by some like of the statements YouTuber every youtuber by holly of max must be fucking fuming right now yeah some oh, of not them just are... statements nobody reaches out to joe rogan because it's like an altruistic reason to get this no one reaches out to anthony fantano and shills their mixtape because they think it'll be like an altruistic reason to promote their their content yeah that's true no yeah. this is absolutely right and it, it, the thing is, with, with Max, it's, it's a demand that you support. Fantano, I have recently attacked a pedophile. And if you want to know the banger song that I use in the background <laughs> while I spin his bones. Yeah, right. It's like, holy shit. Give, like, I got another YouTuber reaching out to me, and I, they haven't given me the heads up to even say who it is. But apparently he threatened more people. Oh, not that just I'm not surprised. Yeah. That I'm not surprised, because I when, when he threatened you. Uh, gets out now. I, I heard you say that. In front yeah. Of Mudahar. Um, when he threatened you, I was like, "There's no way. It's just you. That's, you're, that's just the fishing game to keep people in line, and and shows you how kind of wild he is." So, this is the video. I um, Chud. By the way, there's again, Chud. We, hey, buddy. We, we've talked. We talked about this um, offline, but we might as well say it publicly to, to pat him on the back. With all those weirdos you were hanging out with over at Twitch, thank you. I, I am generally grateful you found The only something. good draft pick from the Twitch are. <laughs> Holy shit. We got one, dude. <laughs> oh, one. He's, but he's amazing. He's the diamond in the dirt, man. Well, we started picking up some losers on YouTube. You yeah. know, the, uh, the, <laughs> the uh, John Swan. <laughs> but then we picked up Chud, and you know yeah. what? Okay. I mean, Sardust might accidentally broke up with her boyfriend on Ralph's stream the other did, night, so did they're not all winners. See, did you see um, that? But... Yeah, yeah. I did. did that really yeah. happen, or was she? Apparently, they're not broken up, but it was good. Jesus Christ! God, what is dude. she doing? I like her. You know, I've never had a reason not to like her. A bad thing to say about her. She was nice when we all did her uh, version of. Fire no, no, yeah, was fun. I, I, I generally like her, but I mean, it's that that is a touch grant. Like you, no. Wait, total dude. I didn't even realize this. The only good person we found was a Euro cuck. Do you remember when we said we weren't going to be around British people anymore? <laughs> oh, oh my god. But they were kids, so I think commentary, uh, drama, all this, it's getting older. I think it has to, because as all the kids, you know, the real big money's with always been, and always will be with the kids. Um, I don't think this really appe appeals oh, to them Oh god, anymore. you know what else got older? Mama Max's audience. So all yeah. those teenagers who are like, oh my god, this absolutely captures the anger I have at my abuser. Yeah. Turned yeah. 25 and went, what the fuck is this guy doing? Yeah, yeah. what is this Jesus guy doing? Oh, Christ. Jesus, drop the Holden Caulfield act, please. <laughs> you know? Like, Jesus. And all of a sudden he's doing this stuff. So yeah, like, I think that's, that's the case with a lot of guys from 2016. Maybe that's in my best interest that I was old from the jump. 
you know, <laughs> you know. So okay, let's watch this. Um, this is this is actually comical. All right, let's watch it. This is a video that uh, Chud was. Uh, by watching. the way, do you have a mod? I'm just wondering. No, why? Was something going on? Because uh, somebody really hates ninjas in your chat right now. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> they they really don't like ninjas. Where are they? <laughs> Jesus, who who is this? <laughs> that dude that's hate ninjas. Hey, like, <laughs> Uh, Orson's in the hospital. I can't. He seems like a pretty uh, active I'll, fan. I'll, I'll, you want to call it? I'll, I'll give it to. I'll give it to Zyli. Get rid of all the ninja haters. Oh, I thought you modded hate ninjas, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, this is your castle now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I guess I guess I don't have any mods that showed up. Yeah, like yeah. Get rid of the. <laughs> we like ninjas here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these are awesome and Chinese stars rock and 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 uh, sneaking up behind people and assassinating was awesome. All right, all right. Here we go. Um, but yeah, let's watch this. Let's see, one fifty. Chud sent me this because I didn't quite understand. What he Prison. Found. Here we go. Right, so let's go up a little more. Is it the the fuck was that? Prison. I don't know. God, I think I fucked this up. Hang on. Let me check. check. Do you have like TTS on, or was that his yeah. video? I think that was his video. Thirty five hundred. Okay, I'm a little off. Okay, thirty five. Bow. Here we go. I have failed to get you a face for this video and the last. And it has taken its toll, especially when the very children I vow to protect turn their backs against us. The monolithic what? walls of see, that's, see, that's the thing. The very children. I could see how he, this guy's kind of shed a lot of light. And I didn't realize it until today that called in. He was just like an old fan, you know? And and he was just like, yeah, I was into that. And Mom actually used to follow me like back in like 2016, 2017 days, you know? Um, mm. And... Like, yeah, these were the children I vowed to protect. Who wrote... Somebody wrote me a comment today. I think there's more evidence that Mama Max is a cult leader than this fucking Count Black guy. <laughs> like, I mean... There might be some he's, truth in that. He's got, the, he's got the successful income to back it up. That's about mm. the only successful thing Ma Max has done in the last year. Mm. Hold on collapse in on me now like a burning protect. building. Don't protect anybody. Maybe if the children them. have no faith in what I'm doing... What the fuck am I doing? And before I can even begin licking my open wounds, I have to deal with cyber stalking, defamation, and threats of litigation from the very institutions I've exposed previously. And they just want to vindicate themselves. That's not fucking creepy at all. After we pulverize no. their reputation to the scathing pavement. However, I am VU. Entirely. I am uncertain that they will try and do the same as their antecedents. Make fake claims that I'm slandering them or some other face saving horseshit until the day they're able to drag me to court and unceasingly sue me for every painstaking penny I've ever made. Only in this case, unlike kids Chad and Maya Lowell and Harem, they act See, I wonder if he's going to say, because this is the fake, like IMVU Incorporated versus Mama Max. Is he going to say this was? I don't think you can say that though. Like this was. No, he uh, can't say that because he's never been to court before. Yeah. Ever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, uh, dude, I, on here he's like, "You should sue me, you retarded piece of shit. I'll take you down." And he talks to Zali. He's like, "Yeah, I've I've never done this before." Well, I'm like, obviously, Way out of my depth. Is, what I'm saying is obviously <laughs> this obviously this um, document is fake because his mom Max is not his actual name. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know how he, you mean around. his fake name. I don't <laughs> think fake. Max Strikers is actual name yeah, either. Well, his mom, yeah, I think well, he changed his name. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Carry the financial weight it takes to inflict irreparable legal harm upon me because in an economic battleground, I am a peasant and they are a leviathan. I have not gone up against an enemy like what? Yes. He's the Leviathan, bro. He's the Leviathan, yeah. Dude, how could there be two Leviathans? That's, that's, that's... One of these guys is lying, yeah. all right? <laughs> okay, Lion Maker. Which Max do you trust to talk about kids more, Mama Max or Mr. Curl? This <laughs> in my entire life and what they can do to me will be countlessly worse than that of even the most infamous internet lawsuits. I can't let that happen. So with all of this taken into consideration, the smartest move for me at this very moment is to it's surrender. To awkwardly walk it with a weird camera angle. You clean your house too. You <laughs> but I have no other choice.
Lady Nerdist, uh, who would win in a fight between Count Bakula and Mama Max? I think I have to go with Count Bakula on that one. I'm sorry, everyone. So now, if they want to take me to court for this, here is my official statement. Here comes now. Big Tough Guy. Big Tough Guy. Is he going to, like, read their IP address? Like, what the fuck Not comes after that? Suck my cock. That was that was really edgy. I hear that's yeah. how Cameron Gerard, the completionist Davis, falls down. Let's see if I can find it. So, this is maybe you can help. Uh, let's see. Should I do this one first? Um, I guess breaking news: uh, Chud Logic discovers Mama Max um, uh, contact uh, contact faking a lawsuit claims in the video. This is uh, McKinnon versus IMVU. And I guess he took that and he switched the letters around and he changed it to... Oh, so wait, that is real, but he changed yes. the title of it and pretended it was about it, him? It was him. And then he wait, he did, he did legal face, dude. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> he did legal face, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, did, he did legal <laughs> face. <laughs> Brother Near 2.0. I don't think the documents is fake. I think Mom Max already... Yeah, 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 we know. We're, we're getting there. Come on, let me wait, do Wait, that's so true. He plagiarized. <laughs> All eight Bomber guys. Bomber Bring guy. him in. Look out, you're in trouble now. Now, wait till YouTube Reddit finds out. <laughs> so, I mean, but could he go on and say that was a part of the show? That's the thing I don't like about. Yeah, this. that's what he's yeah. gonna say. Yeah, it's, it's well, I mean, he caught he got caught the other day um, creating Discord footage for a video. That was also in Chud's thing. I don't know if that's on the docket or if you, you reviewed it already. But oh. to recreate, quote unquote, what he claims had happened, he created a different Discord server and filmed it as if he was joining like the pedophile server, but it was clear he was an admin. <laughs> that could be read in one of two ways, right? <laughs> yeah, really good. Very that's poetic or just an indicator that he like uh, fake stuff and, and uh, uses oh, that to create so content. Funny. A now unlisted video. It's an unlisted video. Max showed to either a fake or a moderator in, I don't even, a grooming server who um, hasn't existed in its current form for a while. Now calls itself uh, a Delph rookie mistake. Larex one, I guess. What's this right here? Maybe. Oh, this is another unlisted video. I have to say the editing is is just amazing. I love the editing. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's what I think kind of happened to him. I was like, yeah, I'm this really talented guy, and um, like no one Listen, appreciates. Listen, I'm a Patreon of Mouthy Buddha. I'm not into all the Jew stuff, but his <laughs> editing is exquisite. He's really good. He's, really He's a really good, good editor. Okay. So what we've learned is good editor, John Swan, um, bad person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, are, oh, I mean, both point. of them were being investigated by the feds, apparently. Max and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hold on, it's it's they did have a night. I want to see 12, 1240. Um, I can't watch this shot, but it's an insult to my intelligence. That's my problem. Game that they're familiar with, as it's also from Japan. Specifically choosing an obscure topic that isn't easy to find so that there's no saturation in search engine results. I like how his video is different in his video. His voice is different in every video. It is, it, yeah forced my hand Smartest. into joining these closed off communities where they can easily get to me. Smart. Oh, he makes himself a fucking hero all the time. That's a really disgusting fucking Wait, this is the one. This yeah, is the one you're is, watching. Yeah. So this is all fake. Yeah, it's all fake. Yeah, okay. But not smart enough. Like, dude, I spent a whole month studying Shoko Asahara. You think I wouldn't notice that your name is literally... She watched the whole month. You probably watched Dankula's video. Who are you kidding? <laughs> you know what Shokohara was? You're probably too... I don't know if you're... No movie. idea. Shoko is that, is that like, like a... Is that something Flamenco jerks off to? Uh, <laughs> no. Well, maybe. Well, let me tell you. You tell me. It sounds like it's Japanese in origin. Sh so Shokohara was a, a cult leader in Japan. <laughs> And he got so powerful that he actually infiltrated the Japanese government. We're not talking 100 years ago. We're talking in the 90s, right? He pushed his power, killed his own cult leader, uh, cult, cult members, did all sorts of fucking depraved shit, right? Created somewhat of an army inside of Japan and managed to get a hold of chemical weapons. Launched on a trade, killed a bunch of people, right? 
And uh, he was actually put to death, I want to say, in the last five to ten years. Um, and they How still, did he manage to get all that stuff? They, did he uh, everybody he, who didn't he like was, him that they, like, that they must have loved pedophiles? Well, you know, we always talk about, like, Charles Manson. That's our guy. He is yeah. the, it, it, the only, I guess, maybe somebody like Hitler. He is the premier cult leader. I mean, he was successful. And he was just, uh, he was blind. And um, he, he just, just walked he, up to people and said, "Hey, I see that chemical weapon right there. You're I gonna talk, give that to me. Otherwise, I, I'm gonna tell everybody that you love pedophiles." I, I talked. I, I can't tell yeah. you what I was involved in. I was trying to find somebody, a, a, a soldier, and I, I actually ended up getting CID involved, which is um, uh, um, uh, the Army uh, FBI over here. I, I can't. Mm. I, I can tell you offline, but I can't get into it right now. Uh, we were looking for somebody that I, I served with, and. In this process, the person I was looking for, his father was a part of, um, I guess it's okay to say that. He was part of, the, he was um, Bernie Madoff before Bernie Madoff. It was the St. Kitts. <laughs> um, uh, St. Kitts is a little island in the, in the Caribbean. Uh, it was, it was a, the St. Kitts uh, Ponzi scheme. And uh, his father was in charge of it. And that's one of the things that I brought up so we could try to find him. Then I looked into the, so I got people, I talked to people that got caught up and did time in the St. Kitts um, Ponzi scheme. And I just, I started asking this guy, like, how did you, how did my friend's dad get you so deeply involved in this stuff? How did you guys like fall for this? I mean, you, I, you seem like a pretty <laughs> smart guy. And here's what he told me. And this is what these cult leaders have. Here's what he told me. I, or I, I asked him, like, oh, this is what I asked him. I said, what kind of guy he was? I'll tell you, I goes, here's what kind of guy he was. I talked to him for two minutes. And I wanted to give him money. That's what kind of guy Jesus. he was. Jesus. Yes. And uh, the guy I was talking to was ex-military and not an idiot. By any Bro, stress. imagine if that guy was active right now and he could sell NFTs. Well, I think the point is there's a lot of guys out there like that. They're, they have this, the narcissistic personality disorder, the real one, not the fucking shit that people throw at it. The fun one, but, yeah. No, the real one, the one that Charles Yeah, yeah the had. fun one, the yeah, one the, that you can like, <laughs> the one that without Shibaharu consequence had. for morality, you can yeah, steal just, everyone's they're, money they're trying, and Yeah, they're, they're trying die, to, yeah. they're, they're they're psychos and they're powerful psychos. They're not like there's psychopaths, you know, maybe like a serial killer or just some asshole at a, a firm that doesn't give a shit about it anyone. And there's these narcissistic types that are they want to be cult leaders and stuff like that. And some of them mm -hmm. are very dangerous. That, so like, how did uh, Sokoharo do it? He had that power, whatever that is. He could talk By the to way, anybody. I just yeah. noticed something on the screen right now. Don't unpause it. But do mm -hmm. you see that name right there? Our... Why is one of Augie's community members in like one of one of the group chats on the, in the screenshot. That's no. the Silfit guy. That name right there? That guy, so this video is three years old. That's one of Augie's chatters who like watches Xylee and everybody right now who was on the stream the other night. Really? That's that's a small world, isn't it? That's, yeah, the Silfit Sil guy. Silfit's involved in this. Silfit was one of our guys forever. I yeah, he's, well, he's from this community. Yeah. That's, so that's him right there in the screenshot. That's so bizarre, man. The yeah, awesome horror backwards. Awesome. Come on, bro. And I emailed the mom back my suspicions, and she responded back in Japanese saying this, which means. <gasps> but hey. That's just a theory. A gay theory. The end. Now, while Roly Poly Nanakurobi Yoki is safe, there's a lot of shit out there that isn't. Men, women, and even children are taken advantage of by malefic organizations every goddamn day. And this next one I'm gonna show you Brody. is, to put it lightly, the darkest one I've ever come across so far. My little pony. My little pony. Thank you all for watching. And if Why you have a cursed like a, piece of media, this that sounds you like want a person making fun of Mama Max. Send me like, that floppy you're disc son of a bitch, you're goddamn right. There's covered. tons of pedophiles you can find on my here. email in the description for details. Now, here's a wrap for my top patrons European Z as a win. What? Wait, whoa. Well, well. mental health and commonwealth protect your shelter until you look like an ape to turn to great syrup. Lich is a leash, bash your head in with the rock under dock. No, no, doki doki, more like moldy pokey, like your pecker. Henry Ecker, audio air has no ball sack here. I'll kill you, care if I fucking swear. King Unido here to murder your libido. Very hairy, Mary. Just I am totally lost. <laughs> <laughs> what was this? Oh, sorry. So, this is. So, that was the thing. So, let's see. Um, Max showed it either to a fake the moderator. 
uh, the grooming server as he hasn't been visited for some time. Uh, rookie mistake. Dude, he's got there the hip hop. But see, I mean, I gotta be honest, with you, like that's so off the wall. I wonder if he was was he even the uh, pedophile hunter then? I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Well, he's friends with Nexpo. There's a guy creator people respect too. Dude, his friend group was literally Mudahar, Nux Taku, who sucks. Um, um Nexpo. Like all those, like these big YouTubers, some of which who have actually like taken on legitimate pedophiles. Mudahar has done the, uh, the what's it called, the Club What's Penguin thing with Kavos that we mm. reacted to way that back in awesome. the day. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, one. Latchkey Gothway can become a member. You can become one too, and you can watch if you become a member today on the after show. We will go over the story of Tekken. Well. Part yes. that became extremely like ridiculous, I think, when I was watching all this back, is so he goes and he shows Mudahar more than anyone else has seen, right? Yeah. Mudahar had to sign an NDA. He's supposedly seen like the evidence, yes. okay? Mm -hmm. And then he starts going around telling people, all right, Muda's seen it. Muda's seen it. And then Muda is like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, what have I seen? What? Like, he doesn't want Mudahar to give him advice. He's using Mudahar. He tries to give him advice. He doesn't listen to him, yeah. right? What he wants is Mudahar to say this is good because Mudahar has his own set, like his own set of credibility that he could pull from. Yeah. He doesn't want anyone's advice. He doesn't want anyone's help. He wants everyone to say that he doesn't want Max to. He doesn't, doesn't want to. He doesn't want to catch Beatles either. I mean, let me go that yeah. far. Yeah. And then I go to talk to Mudahar, and he's like. If I had everything in that NDA that I could show you right now, yeah. I wouldn't even bring this to my channel. There's just not enough to work of with. Of course. That doesn't surprise me at all. It doesn't no. surprise me because it's never this it's always been he's an empty hoodie. Because that pissed him off, dude, to hear like, oh, I'll, I'll talk to you privately, and then all of a sudden Max starts using that as like a seal of approval. Like, guys, yeah. Muda has seen it. Okay. All right, all so right. What he's victims. trying to do to Charlie. That's what is Charlie is kind of what he was trying to do to Charlie. It's, it's it's really yeah. just wild. Oh, did you know that he um apparently when the when Spencer reached out to him, he's like, I'm working on other projects right now. Would you like me to push you off to somebody else, or we can wait until I'm done? All right. Then, mm -hmm. like a couple months later, he starts this process, reaches out to Charlie. Charlie gets COVID. Charlie doesn't answer fast enough, and he's mm -hmm. like, yeah, You have know. fucking sacrificed the children, Charlie. <laughs> it's like, oh, you he you're the only one who's allowed to push this story off. Everybody else, it's an action item. We have yeah. to do it now. It's ridiculous. It is crazy. Absolutely stupid. All right. Um, one of the uh, uh, PDF files. That's a new thing to say. Um, Mom Max claimed he got in prison. A video is likely has the height and weight conversion wrong. It says 5'7", 1.85 meters. Uh, it's just wrong. It's 5'7". Is, yeah, 5'7". That's a small man. Um, 1.5, whereas the weight is 150. Uh, 80 kilograms. Now we're in Europe. What the fuck is this? Basically, his numbers were completely Oh, he wrong. got it backwards. Yeah. Oh. I got it. Yeah, because he didn't understand. He didn't fucking understand the metric system. <laughs> <laughs> they say the metric system is better than our shit. You know why we, why we use what we use? Because it was, it was rebellion against the British Empire. Like, we're not going to measure things the way the Brits do. Yeah, fuck you, Chud Logic, and the metric <laughs> system you wrote in on. Well, do you know the army wouldn't give out medals for years? The U.S. Army. You know why? Because that's what the Brits do. Yeah. Those, those Germans give their fucking things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an attempt to separate us. It worked to some extent. From Europe, yeah. we we're not Europeans. We're Americans. That that was the idea. That's too fucking funny. Oh man, mm. Jesus Christmas! Oh no, I lost something. So this page doesn't exist. What is it? Who's this guy? That page doesn't exist. Who's this guy? I don't know. Queeman, that's the other Brit. Hey, um, there's me. There's you. Oh yeah, this is oh yeah, and this, this is quite funny. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Uh. Max had stalked Haley and I for uh, from 20 what 14 to 2019. He did hold her against her will in a hotel room. He did touch her unwanted. Oh, oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. <laughs> 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 was that uh was that what's his face magnahar magnatar was yeah that oh, oh dude 
That was totally not a misclick, by the way. Oh. That was, I, I timed that one strategically well. I love how that one watched it again. It's too funny. What, 14 and 2019. He did hold her against her will in a hotel room. He did touch her unwanted. Oh, that was a misclick. That was a misclick. <laughs> I'm That's so hard. sorry. Did you say it was a misclick because you knew how bad it was? No, no, I, I totally did it on purpose. That was the plan. The plan was to say it was a misclick. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, who are you talking to? Can you explain the, uh, the, the actual... Oh, reality? oh, yes. Yeah. So that's Magnetar. That's the person who published the video of the five girls who were accusing uh, Max. I believe it's yeah. four ex-girlfriends and one former friend. Um, and then later on, Haley came on, and then I flipped my camera on, and I was hitting the gritty as Peter Griffin playing Fortnite, and she was explaining her thing, too. Uh, but yeah, I know we haven't spoken to them in a while. Um, if you don't remember correctly, uh, Edwin was hailing the investigation on that one before he's tried to start fucking one of the girls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which he vehemently denies, by the way, oh, but God. it's still funny, so I'm going to keep making the joke. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, uh, no, so it looks like, uh, Mag I gotta start, like, there's so many aspects in, to this, so many layers, like, is are people giving him a second listen now that they know what a Mudahar straight up put a call to action saying it's time to review that video again? Mm. Boy, I wonder if that British guy that we had will be upset with you well, about that. Chud <laughs> Logic brought in like a really important point. Um, so yeah. there are parts of again, I don't want to like shit on Haley because she's probably watching, but like yeah. I'm gonna just point this out saying yeah. like there's no definitive evidence that he like kept her inside of a um uh, a hotel room without okay. being able to leave but what there is definitive proof on is that max agrees he was like harassing them for an extended period of time mm -hmm. um he tried to kill himself uh, I, I believe he even admitted to uh, hurting himself and getting that put on her facebook account right so like all the stuff that he admits to is already bad just the question is do you want to focus on that yeah. the stuff he did 10 years ago or do you want to focus on the investigation he's currently fucking up and like publicly you know what i mean yeah that's where my head's been at but yeah. i do understand why people are going to take another look at that how about it's probably this? just how about we that. completely destroy his credibility and then look into that because you know i mean it, it, the problem with that is um and i i apologize if I'll, I'll, if that person's listening, I, I apologize. It's it's your word against his. That's just the way it goes. And if we were just to take it take it at face value, but that, that's we'd the be thing no is, different the rest than, of the than stuff what Max is doing away. to other people. It doesn't mean you're lying, right? It doesn't mean you're lying at all. It just means that it just means there's no way to verify it. No way to verify it doesn't necessarily make you full of shit. You know, I understand what stuff like Actually, this, you can't I have, have a it. really short clip I can give you. Sure? Um, I First of all, I'm really sorry about the music. This is supposed to be kind of a joke, but it actually totally works what you're saying right now. Yeah. Me and Muda discussing this, I cut it down to like a minute. Okay. And you might actually find Fire. this useful. Fire it over. Because exactly what you're saying to Magnetar and to Haley is yeah. true for, for his own investigation, for Max's real story he's trying to cover right now. Sure. I want to believe that Max has some crazy evidence, right? What rubs me the wrong way is he's asking us to help make PSAs to search, search for victims. I'm like, I can't go and call somebody a cult leader or a, unless I- Is this going to get me clipped? Oh no, it's just, you're good. I see some hard-hitting evidence, you know? I am more comfortable talking about Andrew Tate in that way because I've looked at a bunch of fucking court documents that show really fucked up behavior. I haven't seen shit from this guy, you know? I haven't seen anything. Well, All but, I know is one account. The best we have is witness testimony. And like, mm. as fucked as it is to say, I can't make a fucking main channel video going over witness testimony. The thing with witness testimony is like, if we were to take that as evidentiary fact, then Max is screwed because he's had so much witness testimony Bingo. against him. That's so great. we yes! can't operate on like- Thank you! Yeah. This guy is acting like, well, I mean, eight people have accused Camden Gerard Davis of fucking crimes in some way, shape, or form, when five of his ex-girlfriends or former friends have accused him of abuse. One of them kidnapping, apparently. You know? He put the, yeah. <laughs> he's such a fucking jerk off. He put that guy <laughs> in the elimination sound effect of fucking Fortnite. Grow up. <laughs> Oh, the fuck? I wasn't bad. Dude, I'm experimenting with shorts. Why, I don't know why, what happened. Why people take you more seriously than they take me? That's what I would do. <laughs> 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 uh, that's too fucking funny. 
Um, but so that's, that's the point. Yeah, we're going off witness testimony. I got quite a bit of it. It comes mm. from five of your fucking ex girlfriends or, or ex friends. All right, you know? here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. I'm gonna we're gonna take some calls based on Mama Max. As soon as your calls start to suck, we're gonna finish the rest of the show. We got a couple of things to oh, cover. Oh, you got about thirty and I seconds. Plug this. I didn't get a chance to plug phone. this. After show tonight, the history of Tekken. <laughs> Buckle up. If you want to know the story and the lore behind Tekken, the famous fighting video game, uh, make sure you're in my. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll put it in now. Um, it, it's it's it's. Uh, let's see. Let's let me, let me get that. Wait, did you there. talk about Wings of Redemption? Who was so fucking lazy that he didn't want to record that he put his wife into the hospital? No, that's not true. <laughs> no, he there. didn't want to record, so he beat her until she was into, into the fucking <laughs> ICU. He's, he's in the ICU. Don't say that. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the after show is up in the Discord, and we're going over Tekken <laughs> afterwards. It's really funny. It's a lot lighter than this shit. So let me take some Mama Max calls, and then we'll flitch back, and we'll. Is that your version of my pinball stream that I keep promising my fans? <laughs> It, it, it's not a stream. It's, it's after show. It's it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. light. It's light. It's light. Uh, star, you're on the air. Star. So let me take some Mama Max calls and, and turn my stream off. Version of my pinball stream that I keep promising oh, my yeah. fans. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Oh, you're, you're, you're retarded. You're retarded. No, no. First of all, no. I just want to say that. I just want to say that. You are retarded. Yeah, I just want to say that you're retarded. Hello. Unbelievable. Nick, are you there? I'm here. Okay. I'm just waiting to see what happens. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so, <laughs> well, yeah, so Ma Mama Max, you you can relax. Kiwis can marry my daughter any day. So okay. don't don't cover my case. Don't cover my case. Wait, what did you daughter. tell us yesterday on Doc Stream? What, what what did you say that you were into? What was I into? Uh, right wing content. Yeah. <laughs> but who do you who do you like watching? Well, I used to watch James Allsop. I sometimes a little bit watch Paul Joseph Watson and a little bit. Um, but like, Black what was the what was the thing that made it so like interesting that you specifically were into Allsop? Well, I think I, I what made it specifically that I was into Allsop was basically just like his critique of democracy, his style of video. No, no, what about you makes you an interesting candidate to be a supporter of this type of content? Uh, what does because I don't like I like calling out stupid stuff and but the okay. difference is I like calling out like I like making fun of people like triggering the list. No, but what about you physically is kind of a weird th you wouldn't you wouldn't guess that you're into this type of thing. Yeah, physically no, physically I'm not in this type of thing. I just look at it from content. I'm gonna wise. blow my brains out. All right, <laughs> he's not white. That was the joke. Is that he's not white? He's not, not giving oh, it to me. And I'm trying to help him, but it's not working. Just all stuff. He he's like a legit <clears throat> supremacist, right? Or is he just one of the? No, he's not. He's more of like an old school libertarian. He called into Docstream and he goes, "Well, as a non-white person, you might not realize that I'm into James Allsop, but do you I'm like actually Matthew really Buddha? Does he, do you like Matthew Buddha Star? I never watched Matthew Buddha yet. I've heard of him, but I never watched him. Hey, so you, do you like Jewish conspiracies? Are you into that stuff? Yep. He's the guy for you. <laughs> I found your guy. Do you hate Jews and love conspiracies? <laughs> Boy, do I have a channel for you. <laughs> Yeah, but for real, is Mama Max like just like Matthew Buddha, but just like a more de 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 degeneration version of it? No, Matthew Buddha is legitimately mentally ill. Uh, Ma the Mama Max. Is well, pro. I mean, He's Matthew Buddha also tackles pedophiles, but he tackles the ones <laughs> They're that everywhere. work in like pizza places in Washington. Yeah, but he, he wasn't smart enough to make money and up in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. In defense of Mama Max, though, he's just retarded. So in defense, like I think, I think he, I think he's using I, I, his I, special. Forces. How retarded could you mean when you're pulling down twenty k a month? Fucking bullshit, everybody. How stupid can you be? Yeah, I think Mama Max is just using his. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just trying to think. I think he's going to pretend he's like Batman. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Do you have any like, hot takes on sexual assault? Well, I think, in my personal opinion, I thought it was. I thought. I thought essay meant socially acceptable. <laughs> have a good day, Star. <laughs> bye bye. Have a good day. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> uh, that boy, that boy, right here. Hey, uh, um, I just wanted to come talk to Nick for a sec because I know uh, you have contact with Mama Max before. I know he's talked to you. Mm -hmm. so I want. So I, I was gonna ask you if it's possible, like, if he ever reaches out to you again, if you could, or like, if you plan to go to his live stream. Uh, or at least privately, can you ask him the question that is like, what's his end goal? Like to his like this whole, this whole. Uh, oh, I know what it is. I, 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 I to stop 
pedophiles. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm talking, Didn't you like, call yesterday? Like, He'll just give a one word answer. It won't be any. It won't be anything. I, he won't have much of an answer. Yeah. Yeah. I but, knew you asked me that yesterday. Yeah, because I. Well. Yeah, I'm just like very curious about it because I just because what, like, what it, his like, actual, why are you curious? Well, I mean, I, it's not like a. He's gonna say to put Camden Gerard Davis in jail to stop pedophiles to end the suffering of children. It's gonna be just like a really generic sentence like that. Yeah, that's it. Mm, all right, yeah, because because like honestly, I'm really confused on what he's trying to accomplish here. Well, we understand that you're confused. We're, here's what we're telling you, and what I told you yesterday. He's not trying to help anybody himself. That's it. There's the answer. The thing is, what you want is the answer, and when you get from him, won't be the answer. There's and no I don't answer. even know the answer. See, it's, all right, it, let's pretend. I've heard compelling arguments that this, he's a clout demon. I've heard compelling arguments that he's terminally retarded. I've heard compelling arguments <laughs> that he's an artist who's so, whose ego is so far up his own way that he can't even fucking, like, sit down and realize he's hurting people he's trying to help. And I've heard fucking people argue that he's just malicious. And I think that everyone can make a pretty solid argument for any of those things. Hey, hey, let's, let, let's, let, let's play a game, you and me, okay? Let's pretend that he is, let, just, we'll, we'll, we'll pretend that we know 100% without a doubt that this is a scam for money and that's it, okay? All right, having known that, what do you think somebody like that would say if they were asked the question that you want to give them, what's the end game? Like thinking that they're they're a criminal, they're they're just this is this is this is a racket. What do you think are the racketeer would say? Probably either nothing or bland answer. Bingo. That would just not dress it. Bingo, 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 bingo. There you go. That's your answer. I'm telling you. But you know, we get a chance to answer him, but I don't think we're going to be seeing him around for a long ass time. Talk to you later, Dat Boy. All right. Thank you. Take care, bud. Let's see. Uh, Simp Man, you're on the air. Hey, one want to say congrats to Nick on his comeback with uh, Thank those, you. Uh, streams and big money and donos and new followers. Yeah, yeah. Nick's yeah. Good, good streamer. Uh, quick question. Does anybody still have access to Mama Max's Discord? I never did. Never oh, did. Oh, shit. I never did. I heard like, it's I'm here. I heard that he's like already like, you know, dismantled it and is building another one. Sure. So I, I wanted can. to see if anybody actually had it, just to see. I'm He's gonna build a wall and make the child abuse <laughs> victims pay for it. I'm very interested <laughs> to see how he uses his talents and what genre next, because I think that's probably the next move. I can't, I can't wait to see what happens with the whole story about that one chick that has like babies. Uh, I mean, has a kid and needs like baby supplies. Yeah, that was interesting. Did you uh, like, hear about I this, Tommy? See that. <laughs> no. Wait, no. this is actually super important. So there are. People are asking legitimate questions because Max said he'd be giving the entire month of revenue from his Patreon, which is substantial, as we've spoken about in the past, okay. and all of the relevant inf um, money that he made through his first video to the victims. So while Spencer is receiving room and board and getting a YouTube channel out of this and getting promoted, mm -hmm. by the way, if you want to find out what Cameron Gerard supposedly did, the, you can't find it in the four videos. It's only <laughs> on her new channel. Oh. You have to go to her channel to find it. But now one of the other uh, potential survivors, victims, That's whatever true. you want to call them, is on Facebook saying she doesn't have enough money for diapers. So where is that money? How is it being distributed? Normally I would just say, well, I mean, obviously he's giving it to these girls, but Cameron Gerard, the completionist Davis, tells me that I have to find out where all the money is going. I want to see how much is being donated to each of those eight girls because it's now up for question hmm. based off those Facebook posts. What do you think of that, Sim Man? Sim Man? I, 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 I think it's going to be absolutely interesting to see what he even says because, again, we're willing to bet that he's going to make another stream sometime soon, probably with this week. I don't think he will. I think he's done. <laughs> You think I hope he does. Who I got seven hundred oh, people in here. I hope he does. <laughs> Keep it coming. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. I see right, Chud Logic. I see Chud Randall. Logic is here. Everybody, thank you yeah. so much, man. Chud, Chud Logic so I, with the interior the rape review. I jumped the queue. Oh fuck off! I jumped the queue and just hopped in. I hope you don't mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I have a question for you to make you really uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. Go on. Is it possible? Right. This is just a, a theory. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know, thrown out there that uh, what's the girl's name again? Uh, uh, Spencer. Spencer. Is it possible that Spencer said something to uh, Max like, oh, God, I'm having trouble with money and what have you. I have a great thing. Why don't you get in my racket and I'll help you out. 
we'll use Count Blackula, <laughs> and then I'll, I'll I'll forward people to YouTube, and you'll be able to make money yourself just accusing people like I do aimlessly, and I'll teach you how to do it. No problem. It's just it's like a money machine. I've been doing great. Is it possible that happened, Chud Logic? Listen, Tommy. Before I've been, uh, you know, more cautious about grooming you about things. Okay. okay. But on this show, but... we laugh about rape. Okay. You don't have to fucking pander to anyone. Yeah, you don't right? have to do anything here. You can. No, it. listen. I, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna be open-minded about that. Okay. <laughs> really? I mean, the thing. The thing is, okay. The thing is, the only problem with that, and this yeah. is like another issue with this, I guess, okay. Spencer person, is that um, Spencer. I don't know if you're aware of this. There's a clip of her potentially admitting to have committed crimes. Yeah. yeah. What oh, kind of crime? Wait, do you have the timestamp on that? That's fucking crazy. What kind of crimes? What kind of crimes? I don't have crime. So I there's mean... a there's a clip of her interview where she talks about physically luring in other girls to like have relations with this Camden guy. And oh, um Jesus. you know, it, it's like no I think I think it could be like Cloud Cookie Land bullshit. I don't know what the truth of it is. But yeah. if it is true, the idea that, you know, Max would allow a victim to admit to a potential crime on a stream just shows how completely inept he is and doesn't Do you know think what he's that doing. he thinks that she'll be forgiven because she was under the cult leader's spell you know type thing i guess so yeah. yeah but obviously you know that there's, there's no fucking guarantee I got that a time a crime. if you want to watch it yeah so ship it i want to see that i got it from magnetar yeah. it shows that he's like but you know it, like he makes a, a good point like i mean he's and that may, right, let, let's pretend this happened for a second. Let's do the other thing. Let's do the other extreme. Let's say this is completely on the money. Um, there might be a little forgiveness in order um, if this circumstance is permitted. But um, I don't know. It does well, seem weird to admit. I'm pretty sure the way the American legal system works, if you've committed a crime, you should never admit to it publicly because you might need it in, bar in bargaining power. When, if, you're, if you get like um, you're charged with something or something like that, you're in legal trouble. Sometimes you can, you know... I'm not a legal expert, by the way, but this is my understanding. You can say, right, well, we'll let you off on that if you, um, you know, mm. testify against X, Y, and Z person. So it's one of those things that it's just you should never admit to committing a crime on a mm. stream, right? Like, mm. that's pretty fucking obvious. I would have Let's thought. hear this. Let's hear this. This sounds wild. Did you ever recruit? Yes. Where, what was the operation? Like, did he tell you all, like, go to these places and... So my that seems like a bizarre question, like right off the bat. Why would you know to ask that? You know, did you ever recruit? You know, like what <laughs> what what led him to ask that question to begin with? It's so weird. A particular recruitment style that he also encouraged others to do it this way too um, was to go on Whisper and post about, oh hey. If you want to join a family dynamic and be a part of a pack, uh, hit me up on kick, you know, um, or like DM me and then we'd give them the kick. So, um, there was one time he did have- I just thought of something else. In order for her to have committed a crime, we have to know that he's committed a crime. <laughs> we don't even know that yeah, yet. True. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, lure a girl, like, physically. Um, like... We got an Uber and went and picked this girl up from like 30 minutes away from us and she was like 13 or 14 and he kept trying to convince me to convince her to have sex with him and I was like, no. Thankfully her parents got her the next day, so... Thankfully your parents but her then up because I invited a 14 year old <laughs> girl to fuck my boss husband. Ugh, cool. So weird. How old was she? 16, 17? I believe no, she, could, or so. she couldn't have known anything was wrong there. Yeah. 17 she, year olds don't know that's bad. Well, that's another. If, if she was a minor when she did it, she's probably protected to a certain extent, too. Um, it, if and when she did it. But I'm well, not, the, the I, thing I'm is, not, I'm not convinced is. this guy did anything. You know, so uh, Jeffrey Epstein, Dan, <laughs> dude, Black Hill is worse than me. <laughs> it creates an unnecessary legal risk if you are, you know, thinking of like a legal case or Dude, some sort of legal ramifications. Right? Could you imagine if in the middle of the interview, Max pulled out like a microphone that modulates his voice and he's like, Spencer, are you aware you've just convinced, <laughs> you've just, you've just told everyone you've lured a minor to rape. And a bunch and of like guys with black robes come in and take her away. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the the only other thing I wanted to point out as well is that like there's so much stuff I've been looking at, and it's crazy. Just to simplify it as best I can, mm. there was one case that he looked at where there was this old guy, and before he was even involved, this old guy was arrested and put on probation for some mm. sort of 
child thing that he did yeah. right he got yeah, two years yeah. probation yeah, and then after that mama max um somehow contacted him and was talking to him over discord using a decoy so i think that did happen uh -huh. and that got video got put on the <laughs> internet but he didn't well he claims he took it to the police i mean if he did or didn't i don't know but if he did it's likely it probably wasn't admissible because of the way that he did it i would yeah. guess yeah. but then he does this weird thing where he implies that his audience should go and like murder this guy Right, just and just this quirky, like, weird, this quirky, weird thing he did, where he just said you should kill him, like in, in his family now. And this, this is like, this is like, uh, you know, I'm taking this to a schizo level myself. This is yeah. not like a, a conclusive claim that I'm making. Yeah. But I'm wondering if in his like, in his like freak mentality, he gets derived some pleasure from the thought of someone going and killing a pedo at his behest. Well, you know what it does like, say. I'll, I'll tell you, it, it, it says like, it, it, like. There's nothing he's not willing to do. And he said a pedophile, a picture of his ass, Tommy. He sexed yeah. a pedo. We must sex the pedophile. To Have stop you the ever? Pedophile. I wish he could get you the um, <laughs> the uh, QR codes when he made the video on me, and he put QR codes, and they're all about mol sexually molesting me. Well, do you, does that need a review? A certain yeah, type of review, Chad? Do you think that <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, you know what, what kind of review do you think Go would be? A, it needs a, it needs a, it needs a classic rate review, not an ultimate rate review. <laughs> Flashback <laughs> rape from you. <laughs> That's all flashy bullshit, mate. Listen, I do it down the line, okay? I keep it simple. I keep my stolen phase intro. Anyway, yeah. listen, I don't want to turn this platform into a debate over our rate review businesses, okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, listen, that's what that's the main right. thing I wanted to say. So the, the okay. thing is, there's so much stuff. There's so much stuff to look at. You know, he definitely is um, a charlatan, a fraud, a scam artist, as yeah. you said, Tommy. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Looking at that made it clear. The biggest question for me is, how was anyone convinced by this? Ever? I don't. It's that so I can't figure out. I have no answers for you because I, I like I don't get it either. I that I, that part I don't get either. But you know. Um, Smart people yeah. are convinced of, um, although I don't think he was targeting smart people. You know, um, you, you, like from what I understand, uh, you, you, your IQ has to be so high for you to be hypnotized. If you notice people that get involved in like Scientology, they're usually professionals and they have their lives together and stuff like that. There's just kind of some kind of weird emptiness inside them. Um, so I, I don't, I. I I hesitate to call everybody stupid, even though on the surface that's the way I feel. But I think, I think, in people are a lot of people. I, I think most of us that are together don't look for like meaning in every aspect of life. But when you have sort of an empty life and you're trying to fill that void, you're susceptible to somebody like Max, regardless of intelligence or place in society. That's what I think, and I think that's the, the so that's what these guys thrive on. You know. My, my best guess, and this is the last thing I'll say because there's people waiting, is um, very simply, I think that he was very good at like connecting with people and talking to people, mm -hmm. and he would put this kind of weird pressure on people to talk about stuff, yeah. right, that we're seeing now a lot clearer. Yeah. And I think that a lot of people just never watched his video. Like, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. When do you like sit down to watch an hour and a half, two hour video of another YouTuber? It tends to be something you've got to be really invested uh, in. It's got to be my friends. Right? Like, like if Nick called me, yes. I can make this 200 video, I'm going to watch it, you know. Because yes, exactly, friend. like a close friend or something like that. So I think people were like, oh, this guy's doing some good. They're not going to watch an hour and a half video about IMVU, but they will back it up because they think he's doing it's good and it, it looks good to help a Peter Hunter, right? So yeah. I think that's what it comes down to mainly. But yeah. yeah, it could be. It very well could be. I, 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 don't, okay. I don't know. I, I, it's tough to tell uh, why people do the things they do. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Uh, I think everybody's goal is to be grounded. Just ground, like... You should have a New York's cops look at life like every like this, you know. If somebody's you know running away with the with blood in their hands, they're probably the murderer, and that's the way I look at life. It's just that simple. There's not there's not a big conspiracy behind it all. Um, I think once you lose conspiracies and that kind of thinking, then you can look at Mama Max and say that guy's full of shit. <laughs> you know, I, I think yeah, that's what it comes absolutely. down to. Absolutely, yeah, that's the way I see it. Um, let me take a okay. couple more calls. Uh, on Mama yeah, thanks for having me on. I'll catch you all later. And then we'll do the news right after that. We'll see. We'll Cheers. do the bye -bye. Pretty, uh, light news. Who's who is in there? Sinternet? I think he's been in there before anybody else. I'm going to put him in. Sinternet, go. You're on, buddy. Hey. Yeah. So there's a video on Max's channel, and I, I think it's like it's about something called like kids.net, <laughs> kids channel, something like that. Yeah. Where they host like fake sequel movies. Yeah. That whole video, he made that fucking channel. 
this this pedo that he busted was him what? making a fake. Bust. I mean, this this rabbit hole just keeps going. This, Are you kidding me? I'm dead fucking serious. There's Can no you get me that? Proof. I mean, it's believable that. at this very, point. Very very circumstantial because Mama Max was the only one who found this channel in the time of Elsa Gate. Where yeah. every fucking stone was being turned mm -hmm. to find the next pedophile. Mm -hmm. He's the only one that found this one that said, You will get naked for us, children. He's the really? only guy that found it. So Listen, you're, you're accusing what they him okay. of making it. You don't have any evidence that he that he made up a channel. You're accusing him. I don't him. have any definitive evidence. Okay, fair enough. Hey, listen, I think I, I think like I it's his fault that people are looking for this. Yeah, this exactly. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> you know? How could you say that he's faked evidence when he's faked <laughs> evidence before? When he's already faked evidence. Yeah, that's really God. Oh, man. It, it's, it's crazy. It's oh, internet. Thanks also, for Nate, I love the ultimate rape review. Thank <laughs> you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> After <laughs> hours died so ultimate rape <laughs> review could live. <laughs> Take care, Sinner. Have a good one. And speaking of after hours, let's put the, the, the legendary smack. Hello. Hello. Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, man? All right, so I have two updates. Um, I'm not sure if you've already covered this, mm -hmm. but I guess I'll just... Uh, hit me don't don't getting... talk about the Reddit thing that you sent me. Is don't... The Reddit... Okay, then I have one thing, and that okay. one thing is... Uh, Apparently, uh, Mama Max has been uh, copyright claiming or copyright striking down uh, videos oh. of uh, pa of uh, past Patreon only live streams or uh, just unlisted live this streams. This guy right on here, his look channel. at my screen. Look at my screen. Is this guy right here? Plagued Moss <sighs> videos, not Mama Max. No, oh. no, no. Mm, no, not that I'm guy. I'm talking right. about uh, Plague Mom. I'm talking about Mama Max. I'm talking about he's actually copyright. Have, have, you right have you seen the evidence of that? Have you seen the evidence? Yeah, I've, I've seen the evidence of that. Matt Pitt showed me it. So Where the fuck is Matt Pitt? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I, I mean, I can believe it. It's just too much to do. When do I get back to doing goofy Dude, stuff? we were playing Blazing Eights like, pretty late last night, all right? Mm. We get pretty competitive when it comes to our Uno game. Okay, Blazing Eights. I don't know how to play Blazing Eights. I don't know how to play Uno. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I just find it kind of hypocritical. Like, he, there, there's a clip that I want to send to you, Tommy. Send it's it. It's basically him him saying that uh, you can... You can uh, what is it? You can uh, share my clips freely. You can post it on other websites. Yeah, of course. You can do whatever with it. You have yeah, any no, that, editing skills? You're, you're I would appreciate right, people like He said you can re-upload my stuff to YouTube. Now I don't know if that means Patreon stuff though. Well, some of his stuff is games. Creative Commons. He's put that mark on it. He can't be creating yeah. stuff that he's already made Creative Commons. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. The well, content and uploading it to oh, other okay. platforms, if you want, that would be really appreciated. Like that would definitely help the channel because. The channel doesn't grow because everything is age restricted and everything is demonetized and there's no search and discovery for my channels. So like my videos don't go out to like other people. They just go to my subscribers and that's it. Uh, so you think that's why he fucking started dealing with the commentary community and the drama guys? Is that why he did? did he, was he trying to use us and it just backfired? I, yeah. Well, yeah, obviously he was trying to use yeah. us. He wanted us to say everything was good, so no one looked at his research. But yeah. uh, and by the way, this is just a little PSA to any single person watching this and seeing everything on the screen. If you want to get striked by Max, you should re-upload all of his content to YouTube. Um, <laughs> you, you, then you get to cry about it and bitch about it, and that's fine. And putting your channel in danger. <laughs> Whenever you're archiving something like that, yeah. do it through ulterior means because. I mean, people actually want the stuff you're archiving, and he's probably going to strike you. That's super common. Use Google Drive. Use something else. Yeah. Put it somewhere yeah. that you can link around. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Like, what do we go? Like, I don't want to get off topic, but what? All right. So he said right here, make it grow. But who's he? Have we seen any strikes from him? I mean, well, I heard I, that Camden Gerard Davis said to make it grow, and that's kind of mm -hmm. why he got into this whole mess. <laughs> I can I can send you one after I get off the call. But there's one other thing that I would just like to bring up. I, I don't know if it really counts, but um, on his Vimeo page, he had uh, he had a Vimeo page called Striker Films. He uploaded his uncensored stuff, like uh, that I'm uncensored uh, <laughs> rape, the uh, alleged rape mock-up video the that he made video. in like 2021, 2022. Uh -huh. um, 
a couple of days ago, I believe, like yesterday or the day before, he deleted all of his content except for two videos, and now it's down to one video. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. No, well, this is this is melting. All right. Thank you, Smaggle. I appreciate the call. He also straight up lied that Anthony runs the Kiwi Farms page. Yeah. On him. Anthony. Anthony who? Anthony Fields, the guy who made the video with the four girl, well, four girlfriends and the one oh, uh, former friend. Oh, so he's just making shit. He'll say anything. Yeah, he just straight up lied. I've, I've also seen, seen no that, evidence presented. That yeah. I've also have. seen evidence that Max is also making up the claim that uh, he uh, uh, that uh, Magneto doxed him. That's not actually true either. <sighs> Can't but, get it all. All right, well, I'm all here. It's just it's too much. All right, thanks. Yeah, Kyle. it's I too much. It. Let me get the no last call. Um. Let's see. Uh, stay at home, Dad. Thirty-two. You're on. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, shoot. So one thing I kind of wanted to mention with the whole thing, sure. uh, critique that I didn't really see many people bring up, is with the heavily like kind of like stylized like way that Mama Max like makes all of his content. Mm -hmm. Um, one issue that I kind of saw is he kind of indirectly like kind of like I want to say let 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 like motivates people to catch predators, right? Mm -hmm. But who is because a lot of the people he tells him to kill him according to Nick. <laughs> well, yeah, like literally fucking fucking kill them, right? Yeah, but I don't think he tells him to kill them. That was according yeah, to Sean. Yeah, yeah, but, but you know, like, he does. He's like, find him. What is <laughs> find him? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, but what, but what I'm kind of saying is because of that, right, because he's kind of inspiring a lot of, like, younger people to, like, do shit, Yeah. right? right. My kind of question is, you know, what happens if, like, a 14-year-old or, like, a 15-year-old, you know, wants to, like, go out and catch pedos and shit and ends up getting, like, super, like, traumatized from it, Are right? you familiar with Bupak Shakur? <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, he's really traumatized. He's dead. Yeah, okay. I pulled the gun out and, put, and blew his fucking brains oh. out in the middle of a diner. I hope he Jesus. caught his pedo. Mm. Jesus Christ. Yeah, because there was another guy that got shot around the same time, but he survived. He's in a mall, right? Yeah, yeah, because because quite literally, right? Because um, I'm gonna try to make this pretty brief, and if you want evidence for this, I am willing to link it to you. Um, because when I was 16, right after I watched this guy's like kitsch chat video, I literally like went out and like got somebody arrested, right? Mm. Um, and while it turned out pretty well for me, my kind of question is like. What the fuck would have happened if, if it didn't go so well, right? Like, what would have happened if, you know... Well, he like, been fucked in lawsuits. That's what happened. Yeah, exactly, yeah, right? Mean, that's, he's been, right? He's yeah, been and that's just something I don't really see, like, talked about. Did you about, ever watch but... the live stream where Andy Worski and Ethan Ralph reviewed something called Instagram Wake Up? And they were telling <laughs> I, everybody how many yeah. pedophiles they were, and they just started flagging yeah. up accounts. Like, look at this pedophile! Well, look at that like, pedophile! I, I, I think <laughs> I remember wait, that. Wait, yeah, wait. yeah, yeah, yeah. But on, like, yeah, the yeah, third yeah. link, it said, this content was removed. And they went, What? What do you mean this content was removed? And they started refreshing all the links. Uh -oh. And it was just all the pedophiles in real time, like, fucking deleting all their accounts, blowing up their hard drives, fucking God, a... shoving it into the furnace. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. That's yeah. Funny. yeah, no, but, like, that's just something I don't really hear many people, like, talking about is, like, you know, is because, because what, what could be, you know, because as the way this guy, like, makes his content, now it's literal, like, pornography, right? I think so. Um, that's yeah, it, it, it is right. Like yeah, I, I watched it when I was like a kid. You know, yeah. it fucking, it fucking stimulated that part of my brain. Right, I fully agree with you. Yeah, um, my but my kind of question is like, you know, what, what, what the fuck happens when you know l l little Timmy d uh, decides to you know fucking role play as Chris? I Hansen don't think he and, and cares. A... I'm crazy. Call me crazy. I don't think he gives a shit either. I don't think he really. Gives I don't shit think either. he cares at this point. <laughs> no. No, 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 he doesn't. But no. I don't know. That's just something I don't really hear many people. Like, I don't think there's a about. situation where, wow, this might happen. He's just thinking of the bottom oh, line. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't think Max himself gives a shit. I'm more so just saying this, like, you know, in the sense, like, for all the people, like, watching out, chat, yeah. right? Yeah, to kind of kind of point out to, like, to, like everybody else. Here's you the know? good news. Here's the good news. It's falling apart. Yeah. It's falling apart. So oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That. No, that guy completely shat the bed with yeah, it, and absolutely. it is fucking hilarious. He shat the bed with fucking with me. He probably could have kept the scam going a little longer. All yeah, right, I'll maybe. talk to you later, man. Take care. All Bye. right, see you, man. The Nerdy John, last call before we go into the news. I think I need a news um, sound effect. Nerdy John, you're on. Nerdy so, John. like, one one other thing that, that, that bothers me with this whole situation is Max, in his original, like, call out video against charlie right yeah. was 
everyone wants to talk about dumb Twitter drama with Esther Sniper Wolf, right? I do. But then as soon as he shows um, what he has as evidence against this, like, Blackula dude, he makes <clears> him <throat> sign NDAs that they can't, they can't talk about. So like, mm. you want people to talk about uh, what's going on and give you shout outs. But as soon as, like, you give them evidence that would supposedly help your case, you silence them. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, but like I, I, I don't know. You know what it is? We're getting a little redundant now. Like, what's I, the problem here? Do you have evidence, Max, that you can't show because it'll be like completely unusable if you tell the public about it? And yeah. what is that evidence useful for if you've already right. told everyone who right. it is, and the guy knows now to go delete all of his history? Like, I don't, why would you tell everybody who he is and let him know? That you're looking for him, but simultaneously also not provide any of that evidence to the public to get people to come help you. It, it doesn't make it. It doesn't add up. No, it, it, none of it adds up. It just adds he knows up. you're coming, and we don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. All right, Nerdy John. Have a good one. Um, now, I wish I had a big, like, rape review intro. The new the the drama news. Do, 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 do. All right. First off, this is um Asmongold's dad telling everybody what a piggy is. LA comes over and picks me up and brings me over here. I couldn't even walk through his living room to get to the shitter. And I said, I'll tell you, if I'm going through here at night and anything gets in my way, I'm kicking the fuck I'm throwing the shit out of him. So uh so he cleared me a path. You know, bitching all the time. I didn't bitch all the time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You're stepping on fucking McDonald's bags. Fucking multi-millionaire, this guy. It's so funny. I tweeted pictures of his room, and I got fifty-five thousand likes insulting him once. And he's a good YouTuber. I don't hate him, right? He's a good YouTuber. He makes content I generally like. That's nothing to do with drama. But the, the, there is something weird about him. Get you clean his fucking room. Yeah, yeah. Why are you yelling at him, Pops? You're the one that made him like this to begin with. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I got pictures of his room. You want to see this shit, Tommy? Yeah, sure. Send it. Let's ship it. Yeah. Let's ship it. Look at this. This is what he lives in. Yeah, hold, let me and these are multiple box. different pictures, Tommy. This is oh, not so one picture. Box. Uh, I'll give Put another box. Big box. Put another big box on top of it. Jesus Christ. I well, said you're, you're like you're 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 the one you're the one that that, that made him that way, pops. <laughs> oh my god, that's bad. Oh, look at the soda. You won't throw out the soda things. I mean, my desk is disgusting too, but it just doesn't even. Dude, you know, all I'm seeing is a guy with a working metabolism. What a dick. <laughs> look at that. He's like fucking. He's a huge star. He's the World of Warcraft guy from South Park. He really Matt is. Matron! <laughs> My god. <laughs> oh god, look at that. Did you see the Coca-Cola thing? How is he so skinny still? How does he live better than Illuminati? <laughs> <laughs> How is he still skinny eating like that? He was metabolism must be like amazing. Dude, he sweats every time someone says this drama involving him. So yeah. he like he, all the weight just falls right off. I guess so. Yeah. Oh. Do you know that he's that much of a pussy? Because he streams on an alternative platform that's almost the same size. So, like, because he's afraid of drama when he streams on his main. Oh, well, yeah, probably because he's on Twitch. And they'll fucking slap him. I don't blame him there. But he goes, no, he goes on his second channel. But his second channel is basically the same size as his first one in concurrent viewers. Really? It literally changes nothing. It's just he can't make money. Oh. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> 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 this is too fucking funny. Dude, this is the guy telling me how to live. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a gamer. He's a gamer. He makes good content. I like his podcast. I like everything about him as far as uh, content. He's a little stupid on some of his takes, but whatever. I show speed kidnapping prankster unveils ga guns that were almost used by gang members. Exclusive, and apparently this is all work. Um, popular YouTuber I show speed was left fearing for his life after being kidnapped by gang members in Brazil. But it was all a prank or orchestrated by the fellow content creator Arab. Is that uh, your fellow Arab? Is that him? I think I know who he is. What? Your fellow Arab. He he's, he was he's been on Keepstar show before. He's, I'm racist. I don't know who the fuck you're talking he's not about. A big, he's a big, pretty big guy. YouTube pranks can also get out of control, especially with the amount of money available 
to go into it. So we got like a, a Brazilian gang. Oh, Vault there. knows. He's he's Arab. He would know. <laughs> yes. During his trip to Brazil, Speed uh, was live streaming and walking through districts where he was suddenly confronted by gang members holding weapons. I wouldn't believe that. Um, who grabbed the YouTuber and scaring the daylight. So, however, the orderly was just a prank by Arab who began dancing and chatting with the gang shortly after. <laughs> <laughs> they have a clip? Hold on, here we go. Well, that's a scary thing. A bunch of guys screaming at you in Portuguese in the middle of a slum in Brazil. That is a scary scenario. Isn't he up to Messi? Boy. And this is a goof? Oh, there is. It is your fellow. I know he is. Feeds young, like, I'm here to play soccer. No, <laughs> soccer. That's too funny. I bet he pissed his pants. I mean, he's like a multimillionaire walking around the slums. He's fucking nuts. I show speed found out Ronaldo was not Brazilian, but Portuguese. Wrong country, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, fat Ronaldo. Fat Ronaldo is Brazilian. Cristiano Ronaldo, his hero, is. Uh, he's got a Brazilian jersey on, which is too funny, too. I got to get one of those. Yeah, the chatter is right. This is an average vacation for the Ralph Lamel. Look, look, look at. Look at, look at <laughs> this is average. Yeah, but he went to Portugal. No, he didn't go to Portugal. He went to the pavement. <laughs> Wait, <I did>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, he looks terrified. I think he didn't know that the bit was on. Oh, look, no, he doesn't know. What a great bit. That's too funny. Glad nobody got hurt. They should have killed somebody in front of him. They just to really drive the joke home. <laughs> yeah, I know. But they just pull somebody out and just shoot him in the head with a bag over it. Other than him, he claimed me once, and I'm still a little pissed off about it. But otherwise, he's so funny. He fucking speed. Did I tell you this story that I, I was in the army with this Brazilian-American? And he got really drunk one night and started talking, like, seriously. We should take our skills and go to Brazil and rob a bank. And I'm like, yeah, yeah whatever, <laughs> right? Like, no, but then I, as, as the night went on, I realized, like, he's dead. Like, we could do this. We have the training. We could do that. I'm like, you you want me to go to Brazil, a fucking white boy, to rob a bank, rob a bunch, essentially a bunch of poor people. Is that what you want me to do? Dude, it happens all the time, man. My cousin will get us out. Don't worry about it. He's deadly. And I'm like, you're fucking crazy. Wait, get us out. You're, he's planning for you to be caught? No, like, he, what? he was like, he can get us out of any kind of like legal charge or anything like that if we got caught. Like, what if the people catch us? They'll tell us to tear us apart, right? And then I kept on like, no. Like, and then I finally gave him like, no, I'm not interested in fucking ruining my life over. So you had like the Brazilian pilot of Grand Theft Auto V going on <laughs> And then the next day, he woke up. This guy was a real cock blocker, too, I remember. Uh, he, he goes, hey, do you remember what I said yesterday? I was like, yeah, I do. Let's pretend I didn't. I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> I mean, he would have been the first guy to die. Yeah, he wanted to Like, go, in the actual bank robbery. He wanted to go into a small bank, put a gun in somebody's fucking face. A place where there's guns all over the fucking place, Right. In Brazil, Brazil's got guns. They're illegal, but that's like trying to go into an elementary school. I mean, everyone's strapped in America. You everybody, know? everybody is strapped as fuck over there, legally and illegally. And he wants us to steal from these all because he's like, "Oh man, it goes on all the time. Everybody's always stealing over there. We could get in and out, and no one would even think like like think think it was us. They would think it was Brazilians." It's like we don't. I, I, you're the only one who speaks Portuguese. What are you talking about? <laughs> like I don't speak Portuguese. He was deadly serious, though. <laughs> Fucking, I am. Well, maybe it's the the booze. I don't know. Elon Musk reveals plan to take on Twitch with the X live stream perks. Okay. Are you okay? Are you? I'd get sure. Ever since buying, Twitter, I don't think the money's good enough. Yeah, probably not. I don't know. Wait, is that the sponsors? Even Mr. Beast said like he's not going to upload on there. He doesn't make enough in revenue. I make like eighty bucks a month from uh, Twitter. Uh, that's nothing. Yeah. And you, uh, I can't even get fucking monetized. I mean, it's 80 bucks a month that just 
pays for my ten dollar membership and yeah. seventy bucks more than I had <laughs> yeah, before. Fair enough. Elon Musk confirms revenue sharing plan to compete with Twitch. Okay, I right, give it a, give it a, give it a shot. What's this streaming class? Uh, wow, you know. it's working really well. I can tell. Yeah, it's, it's, there it is. Yeah, cool. This this streaming test is going very well right yeah. now. You know, I wait. This is where all of Max's evidence was. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Let it load. Let it load. That this is all the stuff that we need to arrest Kevin yeah, for our Davis. <laughs> oh no, it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Moist Critical called out uh, Super Catlin for using mod he kissed for content. What is this? Moist Critical called out Twitch streamer who went viral after kissing one well, of I guess her it worked because I don't know who the fuck that woman is, but apparently the content is here. As a milestone revert. I don't give a shit. Why was he? he he's, I don't know. Uh, streamer uh, Sub Catlin went viral thanks to her clips reaction to kissing a mod. So what? They're grown adults. Which he described as painful. Well, it probably was. Many viewers described the moment as incredibly awkward. So what? With one suggesting it was already the most awkward moment of 2024 candidate. Now, top content creator Moist Critical weighed in on the movement, criticizing Sub Catlin for using her moderator for. Oh, uh, let me guess. He was on there. He's like, oh, "This is pretty cringe, man." Um, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think uh, basically this feels like a dildo being slapped across my listen, face right now. That's what this content really feels like, man. Listen kinda, to what cringe. he said. Listen to what he said. Oh, he, there, Dexter is quoting. Criticize uh, using his moderator for content when he was quote at his most vulnerable. Are you fucking? He's a weirdo. Uh, come <laughs> on, he kissed a pretty girl. Gives a fuck. Maybe it was an awkward kiss. So what? What is it with your generation? Like anything awkward is a kid. All right, like you need to stand up for Asian Kyle Rittenhouse. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? I don't. Who That's cares? That's the guy she's... right there. It's Asian Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, he does kind of look at it. So what? He, she kissed him. So what? Big deal. It was a little awkward. So what? She said, "You guys don't even know him. Uh, that's fucking crazy part. You're so parasocial." He doesn't uh, get any support, and the support <laughs> on that bra looks like it's going to give out. Support. I know. Any second. That's fine with me too. <laughs> <laughs> Splatan responded to Chris and said, not aware of their friendship. Um, and the whole situation was parasocial. She said, you guys don't even know him. That's a fucking crazy card. You're so parasocial. You think these, you could speak someone, even if you don't fucking know. It'd be different if they, if we weren't his friends. I don't know if it'd be different. If you want to kiss guys randomly for mods, it's kind of up to you and the other adult. Vulnerable. It's a grown-ass motherfucking man, critical. You know? Uh, if you were in his circle saying he was brainwashed, she did it for a stunt more than likely. Which critical disgusted being used for content with kissed mod. Really? Is Do you he... think she cares about you? Yeah, genuinely. Like when I went through my breakup, she uh, set me up on to have a dating show. Like that's using you for it. content again though that's that's not well, looking out for you that's still using you for content and this is at setting him up with a fucking platform is using him <laughs> well i guess your i mean i think he's moment. right to a degree You've just gone through a oh your weakest moment all right so i this quote i took his quote out of context but okay now he cemented a different context in fairness okay hold on that's that's not well, looking out for you that's still using you for content and this is at your weakest moment you're most vulnerable you've just gone through a traumatic experience and she's immediately turning you into content you it's a traumatic said, experience i could have told her no i could have said let yeah, me wait yeah but you it, it, no 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 you could have told her no you have no agency whatsoever you're 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 a victim here of getting kissed by this fucking hot chick get the fuck out of here <laughs> And it's not your fault. I'm not putting any blame on your shoulders. Like, it's an opportunity. You're you're low right now because of this breakup. And now you have this girl who's like, hey, I've got a bunch of girls I can put you with if you do it on my stream. That is one big mole because the fucking hit the, the, the mountains. It is a mountainous background of this mole, mole hill. Oh, my God. That's a little weird. Yeah, I think this is ridiculous. It's that like, is oh, absolutely you, you and your ridiculous. girlfriend just broke up? I have a funny idea. Why don't we do a dating show with you on my stream? And it'll be a whole... You, you can talk to a bunch of women. It'll be fun. And Everyone will have a good you. time. Do you, did he think... Well, like, you know what You know what would be malicious? <coughs> She's like, look, these girls are really looking for a guy like you. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I... It's not just... When people are laughing in chat, that's... Yeah. This is your fucking shot, kid. This is what you and like. Yeah. If he really believed that, then I'd feel bad for him. But I feel like he knows what he's. But doing he said he said I could have said no. Like I have yeah. agency. 
Jesus Christ. What is Moist Chris um, Morg Pie is the most influential. Okay. That, he is weird when it comes to women. Morg Pie is literally known for did intentionally ever, getting herself banned and naked. Did you ever see that video that he made? Um, uh, it's a music video. Fucking, it, it's so yeah. fucking. Yeah, where he's like, uh, where he plays a stalker and what have you. And the, the, the song is about these poor Twitch girls that are just stalked repeatedly and he has this like the problem is everyone talks about all the girls who are like aren't actually getting stalked and talks about the harassment they get yeah. but then there are the sweet Anita cases where the police can't help them because their stalkers showed up in their fucking neighborhood and stuff like that and mm. sending pictures of their house mm. um like there's the uh there's the real dark side to that i think yeah, amaranth has had to deal with that part too sure. people, i mean to be honest i don't know what amaranth has ever had to deal with but what, no that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about other stuff with that's, that's like the real true. shit but do you didn't you find that fucking video kind of weird that he was injecting this dramatic scenario with his Well no, video? he's performing. Yeah, but isn't it a weird I don't I don't isn't know. It I weird, weird to that to Tom perform. Cruise is acting like he really would yeah, kill you. Yeah, but it seemed like more, like Tom Cruise is not like if Tom Cruise plays a character, he's not advocating for everything. This felt like he was making something and advocating for something at the same time. Sure, but the yeah. people like who do like advocacy films and stuff like that, like I guess. I, I don't yeah, think, fair I, enough. I don't, I, don't, I don't. I think it's still. I, I think it's, dude, I think it's just weird for like I see stuff like they this. probably reached out to him. You know, like it's a Darman type sketch. It's a mm. Darman song. It's like, hey Charlie, there's a lot of like weird violence against women. I would love to use your platform for it. Oh yeah, man, I hate I hate when people beat women, dude. It'd be yeah, really yeah, fun I to guess, get on there. Yeah. I love slapping dildos in my face. Huh? I don't know. Yeah. I think there's just something more to it. Like, what was the thing he did recently? There was another thing he did. He's he. Oh, oh, it was it was Boogie. Um, like some of the stuff he said about Boogie that I really thought like sort of crossed the line. I'm like, like, like how how he was like using that girl and what have you. I was like, when is when are, when when it, when does anybody get to be adult when it comes to like relationships? It's like, I don't know, I don't know. I just disagree with him. I think it's I think the whole thing's bizarre. You're probably right though. I mean, I don't know. Something going. You're at your most vulnerable. <laughs> how old is this guy? Like in his twenties? I don't know. Whatever. Doc Jack Doherty banned from kick uh, following flashing incident. Internet uh, provocateur Jack Doherty has been banned from kick after repeating, repeat, uh, repeatedly flashed on, on stream. What was he flashing? Is his cock? I don't know. If him or people were just flashing the screen while he was on. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's the chicks? Well, it was chicks. Okay. Uh, kick is banned. Uh, Doherty. And since it's flashing, you know who I thought Doherty was for a while. Do you remember that guy Dorothy? that made a video on um, Deaf Noodles that we all? Oh, defended? you thought it was the? I thought it was. Oh, him. the guy with the banger song. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I thought it was him because he sent me something really weird once. I forget what it was. He was mad at us for a long time for that what? we made fun of his singing. Oh, was he? <laughs> oh, yeah. Too, too young to be on the internet. He okay. was not playing. I know he was old. He was like eighteen. Look and he was on. still in, he was insulted that we made fun of it. Oh well, sad. By the way, I bully bullies is reaching out to content creators, telling everyone that it's possible Sweden might go to war. So it's been a pleasure being friends with you. If that's the yeah, case, good luck. I'm sure you'll be on the front <laughs> line there. I bully bullies. Who's Sweden going to war with? Uh, I bully bullies. I don't know. I have no. Maybe I don't know. Germany's invading. Who knows? <laughs> Get him, no. Tommy. No. <laughs> you can have <laughs> I bully bullies. Maybe the Finns. Uh, apparently, the schizo that tried to epically own me. Uh, own Meat Canyon deleted their channel. Crazy shit. Um, Turkey Tom. Does anybody know what this is about? You know what this is about? No fucking... Apparently there was a Meat Canyon thing. Me and Tom briefly talked about it on stream, but I guess like someone... Oh, was it like an, a for, an editor or whatever reached out to mm. say that like she, she was treated poorly or something and it was bullshit. Still it reminded me of uh, the Quentin Reviews girl, kind of. Oh, God, that girl was crazy. That kind of she thing. She was drunk. That was a fantastic thing. Um, see, this is something that Matt needed to... I wonder if Matt's okay. I'm, like, starting to worry about him. Just woke up to see both of my, uh... He couldn't get to the computer. He woke up and someone stole his other leg. <laughs> Plagued moth videos have been hit with privacy complaints. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, somebody... The, the, I've seen privacy complaints like this before. They're all bullshit. Um... Yeah, it doesn't mean they can't accidentally hit your video, though. That happened to Tom. He looked like bullshit. First guy that replied, that anyway. You know, because he does it. Like, Wacky TV is like the first guy to reply because that, that's what it looks like when What's-His-Face gets your video. Um, futuristic Hub. <laughs> like, yep. like, this, this is what it looks like, yeah. 
That's why I, I wish I had more background on this. Yeah, that's fun. But I think that's it, man. I think we're done. And, Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're done. Um, but if you, here's what you got to do. You got to become a member, a Twitch member, a Patreon. You got to sink your shit. And you got to watch the history of Tekken. <laughs> if you were like, look, I really love this fucking game Tekken. But I don't understand what the fuck is going on. I'm going to solve that problem for you for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. And I'm going to do it in five minutes. Five whole minutes. Go become a member. Sick your shit. Be there in about five minutes. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. <laughs> Let me do Patreon to get out of here. And if you want to be a Patreon, that's over 10 bucks. I'll read your shit out. Um, uh, at the end of every stream. Thanking you. Begging you. Um, if you could find 2,000 more of them, maybe I can make 14 grand a month. Like fucking, you know, Mr. Pedo Hunter. Dude, people, that's I literally a brand new pinball machine every single month. <laughs> <laughs> you and your fucking pinball. Um... Uh, Let's start that. Irish, who are you? Tommy C's Cat, Ronald Hughes, Pilkington, Panic Pun, Oatbag, uh, Nesquik, Mexen, Goth Boy, Everborn, Cody, Abby Blackburn. Thanks so much. Add yourself to the list. All that other good stuff. I see Latsky Goth Boy in there. Thanks so much for all your support on Patreon. Look at that. See, uh, Latsky Bob, she's a member and on Patreon. Decorated like a general in my Discord. There you go. So Tommy, are you sure you want to go? Why? What's going on? I, I, I hear content has arrived. Where? 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 Who, where? Who? Can you see the waiting to call? Hold on. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go out with this one. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, ages. Vito! How are you, Vito? What's up, Tommy? Oh, you jerk off. We fucking versed. Is it? Oh my god. <laughs> no! Jerk off. <laughs> hey, do you want to find I've out the history of Tekken? For... <laughs> Maybe. I've been Vito for like a month because I think it's funny when people join your server, the top person in their server is Vito. I think it's really funny. Dude, that's funny because he's just Tommy's a pedophile. YouTuber that joins your server... Yeah, you know, just, anybody that joins the server, you see Tommy the head honcho, and then underneath him is second man, Vito. Wait, right. so he says Tommy's a pedophile because, um, fucking, what is his name, uh, called in one time. Mr. Yeah. Girl called in one time, yeah, and yeah. Tommy's friendly with Vito. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I wonder yeah. what he's going to say about Mudahar, who said that he wants to, that if, if Max lied, he wants to fund Blackula's lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, I God, I would love to be a fly on the wall right now mm. hearing what he has to say about that. All right, everybody. God, Thanks so much. Make sure you go to the um, the after show if you want the second lore. It's amazing. So stick around, everybody. Have a great one. GG. Good night. Thanks, guys. Thanks.